Hey guys, uh, Farm Boy Reef here. So I'm going to do a little mini series on, I'm going to build two nano tanks um, for my son. So the plan is I'm going to put a, a small 10 gallon on each side of my main display of my two, 220. So what I did today is I went to uh, PetSmart, I got a deal on two 10 gallon tanks and they're on sale for $14 because um, I had my card. So the plan is I got enough space to put about 22 inches uh, tank on each side. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to plumb and feed all the way to the sump in my basement and feed each tank, feeding off my 220. And then the plan is I've got two mangroves in the basement that I've been growing for like about a month now, trying to get the roots really long. So they really like show like in Florida how the roots are like really spread out and then into the sand. So that's the plan. I'm going to build the stands and do step by step how to even like, you know, build a saltwater tank. But this way we'll learn together and then my kids can pick out what kind of fish they want to do. So I'm going to show you the area and uh, where it's going to go. Okay, main display tank. So we've got the 220 here. And then I have enough room over on the other side right here. You can see I'm going to put a 20 or a 10 gallon tank here for a nano. And on the other side, where all my plumbing goes to the basement, you can see I got a two inch pipe and a three quarter going to the basement. The two inches going to the, the sump in the basement, but I got enough room in here for another 10 gallon. So you can see, we measure this up from the wall. We got 20 inches, so the tank's gonna fit there perfectly. So I'm gonna build a stand and everything that's gonna match this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to drill your own glass in these tanks, and then I'm gonna run the piping and plumb everything to my basement sump and feed back again. And then I'm gonna put sand in each one. I'm gonna get paint the back, drill it, and then we're gonna plant mangroves in it. And I plan on getting uh, Hanging two, hanging a radion above on each side, so that's that's the plan. Give you a little tour of what I'm going to do. So this this is what the this is the tank right here. It's a 10 gallon black aquarium I got at PetSmart. Um, it's all glass, so that's perfect for drilling. It's drilling, and so yeah, I got those there. Got them on sale for 14.99 each. That's a pretty sweet deal. And they'll be nice little nano tanks for the kids. Um, so hey guys, so. This is the 10 gallon, it's going to be a 10 gallon nano tank. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to mark that and drill where we want the holes. But the other thing is I got this bulk uh, bulkhead kit. After you drill your hole, you're going to put this through the hole of the glass. you got a seal on the one side. You want to make sure that's in, inside the tank. And then you'll take your nut and you'll tighten that right up. Nice and tight. Don't use pliers, just keep it snug because you can crack the glass and it doesn't need to be that tight. And then it comes with the, the three-quarter end, so you can put the pipe on the end of it. It'll still stick in here. So I'm not even going to use this for an overflow, and it comes with a screen. So you can plug your screen in it and your glass. So you can do that as well. So I'm going to do that. But I'm gonna, my returns comes out, I'm going to have the, the spout, you know, the, the cracking joint spout, to refeed the tank. The next thing you're going to need for drilling the glass is a three-quarter diamond-tipped uh, hole saw. I got this from Princess Auto. It was like $10. It's pretty good, and after you're done, you can take it back if you want. So you'll end up drilling the same uh, same diameter hole for that using a high-speed drill. Um, mark it, make sure when you're drilling, keep water in it. But I'll, I'll show you that on the next episode. But I'm just showing you everything we're gonna need. Um, so I got two sets of bulkheads. I ended up getting those from uh, Big L's uh, frame service for thirty dollars and forty-nine cents. So that's a pretty good price. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to paint the back of the glass with a with a roller. We're going to paint that, give that a couple coats so it matches the black of my tank right here and the black that's painted black. I like it because it really makes the the colors pop. And then after we've done that, we're going to show you how to build the stand, build the stand for these, and then incorporate it into the mill work so it all matches. And then we're going to start filling it up with uh, live sand and show you guys how to do that. So it's going to be a win-win here. We're going to show you how to set up your first like salt water tank, everything you need to do, and everything about drilling holes, drilling the glass, what kind of sand we're going to use, what kind of live rock we're going to use, what kind of specimens we're going to put in the tank. Um, so yeah, we're going to start right from scratch, how to build your own stand, aquarium, everything you need for your aquarium, uh, what kind of salt, and then we'll go from there. 
So that's what the next first episode is going to be. I'm going to show you my mangroves I'm growing right now. I have them uh, floating in water. I'm trying to make the, the root system really grow so the, the roots are really, really long. So when I put them in here like a display piece, that the plant will be up here, the roots will be going down through the sand. And then when I put fish or whatever we're going to put in here, they're going to swim between it. And then the, the mangroves are going to help help take the help clean the, clean the water, like all the nitrates and phosphates out of the water as well. Plus it's like a showpiece. It looks really nice when you have a, your mangrove growing out. You can make it like a bonsai tree. You can keep pruning it. So it's going to be pretty neat. So I'm going to show you the, the mangroves I'm growing. All right. So I just made it down to my basement. This is where my sump is here. I'm going to do another episode on all my equipment in the basement and everything. I just wanted to show you my mangroves we're going to use for the two nano tanks upstairs. I've been growing them so the roots are really growing long, suspending them in the water and have uh, air uh, air on them to make them grow faster. So this is the two mangroves I have growing right now. I've had them for a month. You can see the root growth on them there. They used to have like just little, little, little roots, but now I'm getting some really good root growth out of them. You can see how long those are. That's what I want to keep doing. I like to get it like a few more inches on them so it really gives that dramatic effect. The one's almost like a foot now, a foot long. You can see there, but oh yeah. And they can grow in fresh water as well. But in your, when they're in your salt water uh, tank, they really absorb uh, magnesium a lot. Um, so you gotta keep your magnesium levels up so your corals and calcium can work uh, well together. Um, so yeah, that's these two are gonna be going in the nano tanks for the kids. So these will help uh, as filter filtration in my uh, reef tank. I just wanna show you those guys. So this is what we're gonna be, at the end project, gonna be planting in there. And then what I'm gonna look at getting a couple of radions for each one to, uh, to help them grow and everything so yeah so thanks for watching um make sure to check out the next episode we're going to drill the tanks and then we're going to paint the tanks and build start building the stand we'll do these on each episode so please subscribe and hit the like button and we'll keep doing this together and if you guys want to do a tank at the same time we can just keep learning so we're going to do a step-by-step -step, uh, process how to start your first uh, water tank and all the procedures you can do it all yourself instead of getting someone else to do it all right guys so to the nano tanks and these are the mangroves all right thanks guys